Fast motorcycle fans, come hang out with us at Maryland International Raceway. We're going to show you some of the top grudge bikes in the world. And we start with this long, mean Macintosh swing arm machine of this high horsepower, high Abusa. This is the gentleman known as Cash. So many of you have asked for more grudge racing, and that's what we're bringing you on this channel. So please share it. Make sure you're subscribed to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Make sure you like CycleDrag.com on Facebook. Cash putting that front wheel up. Remember, in this category, we will not see ETs. We will not see speeds. It's all about that wind light and the love of speed. There's also a lot of secrecy involved here as well. You have the freedom as an engine builder, as a bike builder, to do whatever you please. So, so many of these shops are working on new and innovative ways to make these motorcycles faster than ever to try to out-hustle their opponents at the drag strip. And it's not just for the guys. Here comes one of our lovely young ladies. She's on a GSXR 1000. They take grudge racing very serious in this facility. Well, you know, in standard drag racing, we can get incremental data all the way down to the thousandth of a second. We can get your 60 foot, your 330, eighth mile, thousand foot, quarter mile, speed, halfway, and at the finish. Well, in this form of racing, it's simply about who will reach the finish line first. So secrecy is so vitally important. They take it very serious at Maryland International Raceway. They cut the time tickets in half. They darken the announcer screen. Nobody, except maybe the clock operator, and the gentleman in operations, has access to the information and the ETs of these motorcycles. Let's see who's going to win this one. The young lady on the GSXR 1000 alongside the fast rider on the Suzuki Hayabusa to the top end. We go. Wind light, left hand lane. You guys can help me in the comments because those of you who are grudge racers, help me accentuate the difference and describe to people what this sport is all about. But bracket racers and class racers and grudge racers are very, very different. If you're a bracket racer, you're concerned about cutting a light, you're concerned about consistency, you're still concerned about that as a grudge racer, but you're more focused on setting up that big high dollar race. A lot of these grudge racers are street racers. We've heard the stories here on CycleDrag.com. We've talked to many of the racers about the illicit, illegal street racing that will take place from time to time on dark roads in the middle of the night. Well, the idea of getting these racers to the racetrack is to simply provide a safer environment. One where there's a medical crew standing by. One where you're being monitored. One where you know a deer won't jump out in front of you. Nice clean run. Grudge racers seem to be embracing this, but you know there is a certain contingent who's still out there on the streets who won't come over to the drag strip. And we're working on trying to get those racers to the track. They try to keep the rules as unrestrictive as possible, but look, at an IHRA or an NHRA drag strip, you're going to have to have a helmet and leathers. That goes without saying. Gloves, boots, things that you may not need on the street. But again, why anyone would want to be out there on a dark roadway is beyond me. Uh-oh, problems for Darian Payne. He's off the racetrack. Better move by him.
So here's a question I have to all of you watching this video. What do we need to do to bring more grudge racers, more street racers? Uh, you gotta love the sound of the Hayabusa burnout. What could we do to bring more street racers out to the drag strip? The nice thing about Maryland International Raceway being that this is an IHRA track, they aren't sticklers on the license. A lot of NHRA tracks that you go to, as soon as you dip into the nines, you need an NHRA competition license. That is going to deter and push away a lot of street racers looking to deal with the least amount of red tape as possible. But Maryland has a good program here. It's a hotbed for motorcycle drag racing, about an hour away from D.C., close to metro areas, New York, Philly. We've seen some big, high dollar money races at this drag strip. And you see all types of different motorcycles. Look at this, this is a nearly stock wheelbase Suzuki Hayabusa short bike. You gotta love the talent it takes to get these short bikes down the racetrack efficiently. It's very hard not to wheelie this machine. Nice, clean launch. Now here's what else you see in Grudge, is sometimes people just enter this category to test. That's why this individual told right, me what he was doing. guys, you having a good time? Yeah. What do you think, big final coming up here? A big race tomorrow. That's right, it's gonna be a big one. Big race Saturday, big race Sunday. How much fun are you having racing your motorcycle? I race everybody else's. I don't race mine. <laughs> there you, hey, smart man. Smart <laughs> man. Mail, right? Now, how about you? I'm loving it. There you go. I, I still consider it mine, even though it's not really mine. Yeah. Like, that's my baby. Excellent. I actually consider that like mine. <laughs> well, good luck, good luck tomorrow to you guys. Thanks. We got a big final coming up still tonight. Hopefully we get a big final tomorrow. <laughs> Everybody hanging out, having a good time at Maryland International Raceway. Here comes my man again on the stock. That is stock wheelbase. I'm glad we got that shot. Yeah, that, I can tell you 100%. That's a stock swing arm. Sometimes guys put a one inch or two inch over to still get that stock look, but get the better aluminum, lighter swing arm. Let's see what this competitor can do here. Nice clean launch for him. So as I was saying, some racers enter grudge simply for the track time. This individual told me he was running about in the 950 zone. And here comes our young lady once again. And if you've watched this far, please stick with us because we're going to have a wild ending to this video. Left hand lane put an abrupt ending. We'll get to that in just a little bit, but first let's watch this young lady. She was having problems with her fuel system earlier. They took it back, they changed the tune up with the laptop. Now she's flying. Sounds like you got that map figured out, huh? Yeah, man, it ended up being a pinch fuel line. Oh, wow. Yep, yeah, we tried to clean it up earlier, put the tank down and pinch line. Got to fix yeah, it up. There you go, good luck. Right, well, see, a lot of individuals are using this as an extra test session. They were able to battle through some problems. Look at that beautiful Brox exhaust pipe on this Suzuki Hayabusa. Make sure you stay tuned to Cycle Drag on YouTube. We're gonna have a video coming out soon about how to install a Brox exhaust pipe and also the before and after sound of stock versus Brock. Here comes the stretched monster. Mm. 
So I have a question for everybody watching right now. If you're watching this far, you clearly love grudge racing or motorcycles. Uh, what grudge races should we go cover? Many of you have said you want to see more grudge racing on this channel. Give me some good suggestions. Or do you like our class videos better? Do you like the Pro Street, Real Street, scoreboard videos better than what we're seeing here? Let me know. Your opinion means a lot. Always read it. Always try to respond. And there is that blowtorch out once again. I know what these guys are up to, heating up that nitrous bottle. This should be a good race coming up. Let's enjoy this one. happened there oh I told you we we're gonna have a wild ending I think we got an antifreeze leak oh that is so hard to clean up off the racetrack but great job by that rider to keep this thing on two wheels I thought he was going down no oh, you can see the smoke the engine smoke from overheating Look at that puddle of antifreeze. That's going to be a tough one to clean up. Antifreeze is even more difficult than oil to get off the racetrack. Which is why in the rule book, most organizations mandate that you take your antifreeze out and put water in, but no one really does it. Unfortunately, let's be honest. Guys leave their coolant in there. But it makes the track cleanup job. A what happened there? Uh, I guess the relocator came apart. There you go. Give it the relocator. Mm. Why say we walk away? Oh, so hats off to our hard-working staff, even Crystal jumping in. What do you think caused that? If you know, if you got any information, please write it in the comments. We'll read the comments. We appreciate your insight. I know we got a lot of talented technical builders who enjoy this channel and this page. But the good news is we can still use the right lane. So let's get back to some action. My man once again getting all kind of seat time on that Suzuki Hayabusa. That's what's great. Good opportunity to get a lot of laps. Enter Grudge or go to a local test and tune. On a Wednesday night, you'll get a bazillion passes. No joke, on my Busa, it was bone stock and I wanted to put it in the nines. I went out to Fontana. I think I got 25 passes in one day and finally made it into the nines on my last pass. It's so much fun. All for the high dollar price of 20 bucks. How can you beat that? I think it might cost you 50 to get in this Maryland grudge session. There's deals where you can get more runs for the weekend, but it's definitely a good value, good bargain. And there is the Maryland International Raceway crew. They got the scrubber out. They'll definitely need the scrubber to get the antifreeze off. But the, the crew is actually relieved that that bike didn't go down the racetrack. They would much rather clean up a burnout box, starting line mess, than have had that antifreeze all the way down the racetrack. That would have been a Sir, real problem. Did I hear you say that was a, an O-ring? Yeah. How much is that O-ring? Ah, oh, that's, that's frustrating, huh? That'll be all right. Good news is, hey, it's a blessing you didn't go down the track like that. That's right. 
I'm glad it happened here and not 3.30. There you go, man. We'll see you tomorrow. A small little five cent O-ring gonna cause a mess like this. Can you believe it? Well, the good news for this competitor is he will not be disqualified for the weekend. He can take it back to the pits, fix the problem, and get into competition on Sunday race day. So I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed this in-depth look at the After Dark Underground Grudge Series. Let me know what you think about this grudge racing. Do you want to see more of it? Do you have any special requests for races for us to cover? Let me know. And please... Please make sure you subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, like CycleDrag.com on Facebook, and send as many friends who love motorcycles my way as possible. And let's keep this thing growing. I appreciate each and every one of you and appreciate all the feedback. Let's keep this thing growing and give these guys as much exposure as possible. Thanks so much. More coming.